More reactions have continued to trail the controversy surrounding what is now dubbed as the $9.3 million cash for arms deal, which is threatening to strain relations between Nigeria and South Africa. South African authorities had impounded $9.3 million in cash, which was stalked on a private plane from Nigeria, saying the huge amount could be a product of money laundering. Two Nigerians and an Israeli national accompanying the money were later detained, but the Nigerian government has since claimed ownership of the money, saying it was to be used for arms purchase to fight Boko Haram. Both sides are still sparring over the money, and back here in Nigeria, the issue is generating a lot of debate. Take a listen to what two lawyers on our pro current news and current affairs program, DG360, said when I asked for their take on the issue. When a country that is espousing the reasonableness of cashless economy is now carrying cash, cash. It's a lot of money. It is. To South Africa to say that it wants to buy arms. Why would there be a suspicion that that money is a subject of money laundering? And so, what the South Africans did basically uh, is that they followed their own rule of law. Uh, there was suspicion. And they went to court, obtained an order. This is very significant. Obt they just didn't seize the money, obtained an order for a temporary asset for future. And they then started investigating. If at the end of the investigation they discover that this money is proceeds of crime, of course they will confiscate the money you know, uh, fully. So what the Nigerian government should do, instead of staying in Nigeria and grandstanding and threatening MTN and threatening uh, DSTV, it's even silly, is to raise a legal team and a diplomatic team perhaps led by Dazuku's claim that he was going to authorize it, and then go to South Africa. This is legit. This is properly done and all that. Yes, in our country, or our international law, it's plausible or reasonable to carry tons of cash on your head to say that you want to go and do transaction <laughs> in another foreign country. Go there and explain this to South Africans. Exactly. And South Africa will listen. I've listened to, to arguments from um, those in government that yes, um, if uh, you are frustrated from um, buying arms, you know, through the legal market, you can buy through the black market. But nobody is saying don't buy through the black market. But the mode of, you know, buying arms through the back black market is a, a, another thing altogether. So for me, basically, the nine point three uh, million dollars, I think, um, it was somebody was trying to launder money for somebody, and so and it's a deed that went bad, and that's why it is impossible for us now to raise a legal team or raise a diplomatic team to go face other. Africa. And so it's uh, the best we could do here is to make noise and grandstand and say all sorts. Even the Nigerian, the South African ambassador to Nigeria, as at um, yesterday, said he had not even been invited by the Nigerian government over this issue. And that's quite surprising and because exactly, you would expect that would expect the that government would have summoned him. Yeah. Exactly. So he said, as at yesterday, he said that he's not been invited. So which means that government is not even ready to sit down to begin explaining his own uh, um, angle in the in the matter.